Topic number third is speed. What is speed? Then, when we take in an object A and is located at point A, it moved to point B. There, it travels something distance. Suppose that D. To cover this distance, this object will take something time. That is T. Let after one second it moves one meter. First one second time T equal to one second distance moved by this object is one meter. Next one second also moved distance is one meter. So that we can say this distance depend on time. When distance will move per unit time that is called speed. That means the distance covered distance covered by object by object upon time taken time taken distance is denoted by d and time is denoted by t so speed that is equal to d upon t d means distance covered by object t means time taken in this situation we can read this formula in another way the distance covered per unit time is called speed remember that students that when in any formula upon mid time ko then usko to read karenge read that means per unit time ko hum log read karte hain in any formula it written that upon t that is equal to read so the displacement movement rate is called speed another way we can say distance covered by an object per unit time is called speed so you can read this formula as you wish there are two methods first is distance moved per unit time and second is rate of moved distance now for example there is a person at point a it starts to move finally it reaches at point b taking time t equal to 5 minutes and the total moved distance is 10 meters that means we can say what is the speed speed means simply यदि हम आप यहाँ पर स्टैंड हैं यहाँ से चलकर अगर यहाँ तक आप पहुँचते हैं तो समथिंग डिस्टेंस को हमने मूव किया है जो समथिंग डिस्टेंस को हमने मूव किया वो पर्टिकुलर टाइम में मूव किया होगा इसी पर्टिकुलर टाइम में जो डिस्टेंस को मूव करते हैं उसी को हम लोग डिस्टेंस बोल स्पीड बोलेंगे दैट मीन्स वेन आई एम स्टैंडिंग एंड स्टार्ट टू वॉक एंड देन फाइनली रिच दियर एंड देन वन आर टू मीटर्स आई वॉक एंड इन समथिंग टाइम सपोज दे टू सेकेंड और थ्री सेकेंड फिच कर दी सो इन दिस सिचुएशन टोटल डिस्टेंस इज टेन मीटर बट टाइम टी इक्वल टू फाइव मिनट सो द स्पीड फिच कैन बी डिनोटेड बाई एस That is equal to d upon t, which is already written here, equals to d equals to ten upon time equals to five minutes. So the unit of the distance is meter. So we write here meter upon 
the unit of time which in this case minute so right here minute so the unit of speed is meter per minute for only this case because in other cases this minute we have to convert in seconds otherwise we have to convert in hours suppose that in our bikes we log bike chalate hain to usme ye bolte hain ki 100 km per ki 100 km per hour ki speed se bike motion mein hai ya fir koi car hai wo 120 km per hour ki speed mein hai in that cases the unit of speed is km per hour but we are taking here meter per minute in next example we can take 5 to the 10 that is equal to 2 meter per minute this is the rate that means this person will move 2 meter distance in 1 minute that is the speed of this person take another example suppose there is a car at point a
नाउ फाइंड आउट द स्पीड इस केस में देयर इज 11 o'clock एंड 11:30 दैट मींस टोटल डिफरेंस ऑफ टाइम इज 30 मिनट्स दैट इज इक्वल टू हाफ आवर सो टाइम टेकन बाय दिस कार इज हाफ एन आवर एंड टोटल डिस्टेंस मूव 9 किलोमीटर सो फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ दैट कार ए s equal to d upon t the value of d that is equal to 9 kilometers and the time is half an hour that means 1 by 2 x h is hour that is equal to 9 into 2 kilometer per hour there is another unit kilometer per hour so we can say unit of speed in first case we find meter per minute second case we find meter per second in third case the unit of speed is kilometer per hour then we can say there are different units of speed but in which case we have to write meter per minute in which case meter per second in which case kilometer per hour so to solve this problem si system that is international system of units unhone ye decide kiya ki kisi ek unit ko hum log symbol banayenge that is meter per second this is the unit of speed in SI system. SI means international system. Because there are three types of systems to decide unit in physics. First is MKS, second is CGS, third is FPS. M is the meter. K means kilogram, S means second. But in this system, C4 centimeter, G4 gram, S4 second, and in third system, F4 foot, P4 pound as for second MKS system is used in India CGS system is used in UK and in other countries FPS is also used in another countries for like as UKE or you can say in other countries like America gram this is the unit of weight Second is the unit of time. Centimeter is the unit of length. Already in this condition, meter is the unit of length, kilogram is the unit of weight, and second is the unit of time. In this condition, foot is the unit of length, p, which is pound, that is the unit of weight. Second, that is the unit of time. So, in different countries, the different systems are used but an international system says that only one system can be accepted for all these countries so that is MKS which is used in also India now we can take all physical quantities units in MKS system that means meter, kilogram and second so according to this unit the unit of speed is meter per second because length is in meter we write we write here and the time is in second so unit of time is second so we can accept the unit of speed is meter per second so there is no doubt and we don't make any confusion that's what is the different unit of speed only we will write meter per second Next, velocity. This physical 
pressure per kg like in steel because there is something very less difference between speed and velocity speed equals to distance upon time but velocity which can be denoted by v i will take a sign as this v equals to in place of distance we will take here displacement displacement per unit time that is called velocity so in previous topic we have discussed that what is the difference between distance and displacement so there should be no confusion that what is speed and what is the velocity because in velocity formula of velocity v equals to displacement upon time but in the formula of speed that is equals to distance upon time then the least difference between speed and velocity speed is a scalar quantity scalar quantity but velocity is a vector quantity what is scalar quantity and what is vector quantity when any physical quantity it includes direction then it becomes vector quantity when any physical quantity doesn't include direction then it becomes scalar quantity that means when i go in forward direction like this and i don't define what is the direction then i can say i contain speed but when i say i am going one step in southward direction and then i turn in right direction and moves one step then in this condition i define the direction so i will contain velocity not speed because in this situation i moved the distance with the direction so we can say in me i contain velocity uh, velocity but when i will move without direction then that will be 